I have crazy bedhead right now. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a few tips that have helped me with my overall skin health while I sleep. As someone that sleeps on their side, I for many years would wake up with lines on my face this way. Naturally wrinkles happen vertically, but when you sleep, you really smush your face in and there's lines that over time can become permanent, which is really stressful because you really can't do much to get rid of them. If you are a side sleeper, you will also get a line on your decollete right here and you can even get some lines on your neck. And so I have a couple tips to help with alleviating those as well as pillows that you can use, pillowcases, different products, and different rituals that you can do at home to smooth out any of those wrinkles and also prevent premature signs of aging from sleeping. So my first tip when it comes to sleeping wrinkles is investing in a really good pillow. And I'm gonna share with you guys today the Omnia pillow from Sleeping Glow. They have a couple different colored silk pillows, a pink and a white one. And I really love this because silk is incredible for the skin while you sleep. And you don't even realize how important it is until you see those indents on your face. While it's difficult to change your sleeping position, sleeping on your back allows for a fresh face come the morning, but it's not always easy to retrain yourself how to sleep. I'm always the type of person that I end up on the side because I personally feel like that's the most comfortable to me. So I was researching for quite a while for a pillow that works for side sleepers and I've been using the Omnia pillow from Sleep and Glow for the past two years actually. It's a really unique 3D design with memory foam that cradles your face and prevents the skin from being compressed. I've really found that the quality of my sleep is overall much better and the shape of the pillow was designed by orthopedists to atomically correct the body's position during sleep. So as you can see the back of me, it's actually even better for the neck and the spine. Check out the link down below if you guys wanna get this pillow. I promise you guys, you will not regret it. It's really good. The second tip is choosing your products very mindfully at night. The products that you're putting on your skin, you have to think about it, they're gonna be on your face for six, seven, eight hours, depending on how long you sleep. And so this is a long period of time that they're really gonna be infused into your complexion. I personally like to use lots of antioxidants, peptides, stem cells, even retinol at night, because I know that it's gonna be on my skin longer, which is gonna give it more time to even penetrate into the skin. I try to use high concentration products too, that the skin can use to repair while you sleep. I wanted to share a few of my favorites. This first one is the C plus AHA from SkinCeuticals. I love to use this during the night. It's bit potent and when you wake up, your skin looks so glowy. So this has a bit of AHAs, so alpha hydroxy acids, while also having that vitamin C with the antioxidants. So it's just a punch of glow to the skin. I would just say be careful with this vitamin C because it is so potent. You can see it's so orange that you can sometimes stain your pillows or your pillowcases. So I always suggest to let it dry quite a bit before and then you'll be totally fine but it does come out of pillowcases, so don't worry. Again, you want to put your vitamin C on your decollete, don't forget. So another one that I absolutely love is from Viola Chic Recherche, and it's the ISO Placenta. You heard me right, Placenta. This is a regenerating serum. It smells a little interesting, but it is one of my favorite staples to use on the skin. Make sure to never neglect the decollete or the neck. I feel like so many people, they forget to bring their products all the way down because this area shows a lot of signs of aging. I've said this before many times. If you're looking for a really good retinol product but you don't know what to use, I suggest this one from Image MD. This is the Retinol Restorative Mask. You can put it on at night. A really thin layer once a week or if you built up tolerance for retinol you can use it a couple times I suggest maybe two to three 
um, depending on how your skin is. I use it about two times a week. I layer it on at night and then I will sleep with it. And I'm telling you, your skin just looks so luminous and hydrated and also it really helps with fine lines and wrinkles. So I highly suggest this. To boost your collagen, you really want to use a nice gentle night cream or anything with retinol to create this protective layer on the skin. Retinol is gonna help with overall smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles. It's even gonna help with texture and you wanna make sure that your skin is deeply nourished while you rest. Moisturizer is such an important step in the nighttime routine. Just a tip, if you have more, put it on the back of the hands. Mm. Look how glowy everything looks already though. Imagine doing this at night and then waking up. Ugh, you're just like beaming. And you guys know I always like to do a morning gua sha routine. It is a staple. I always have to have my crystal close by and I use all different types of jade stones, amethyst. It's been proven to help overall with puffiness as well as soothing. Oh, it's so cold too. Always have a real stone. You can really tell because if it's not cold, then it's most likely fake. This one is actually a venturine. It looks very close to jade. But I love to use gua sha in the morning just to smooth out any of the fine lines around the eyes, around the forehead, even some smile lines around this area. And starting your day with this, it just really nicely rids the toxins from the skin, but just gives your skin just like a boost of energy. Massaging this area increases blood flow and circulation to the surface of the skin, so it helps to fill in those sleep lines as well. Okay, my loves, I hope you enjoyed this video of a few of my esthetician tips to help you glow while you sleep. And let me know down below if you have any tips for me that you feel like really have helped your skin over the years, if you're a side sleeper, or even if you just have any rituals out there that you wanna share with other skin junkies. I love this community so much. You guys are so supportive and I'm just always truly grateful. So thank you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified for all my videos in the future. And I will see you next time. Sending you all love, light, and luminous skin.